Okay, let's go even deeper into The Irishman and what it means for the death of cinema, the death of the artist, and what Scorsese's trying to say. I know a lot of people are kind of like, you're in too deep, brother. You're going down the rabbit hole. Fair enough. But here's the thing. Scorsese has said time and time again the importance of film language, film grammar, how to read it. I think you really need to know how ideas and emotions are expressed through a visual form. At the same time, the respect for the, for the language of cinema itself, the history should be taught and the visual literacy should be taught because there are others who are not going to be able to do that. Because there's not just one moment that encapsulates kind of the theme of the death of cinema and the death of art or the artist. There's many scattered throughout the film. And to actually read this film properly, you really have to know the work of Ingmar Bergman. Now, Scorsese was a huge fan of Bergman. Every time a Bergman film came out, which was very frequent, you knew that there was another level you had to reach to with him. Or he was going to take you. He may leave you behind a little, <laughs> a lot maybe, but you knew that there was something special that you were going to see. To understand the Irishman's in context with the medium and, and the death of art, look no further than the structure. The structure is identical to Igmar Bergman's